My people, another great opportunity has arises in Canada for you and your family to legally migrate to Canada after one year of living and working in Canada, you will be able to apply for Canadian permanent residence under this good news that I bring you today. The program that I'm about to share with you was introduced in 2019 with the sole objective of incentivizing workers to come and work in the rural part of Canada. 11 community are taking part in this program. This program has been underutilized until now, so you have a golden opportunity to use this program to finally fulfill your dream of legally migrating to Canada. One of the, some of the benefits of this program is that it's got low language proficiency in test. You only need level four, a minimum of level four in either French or English, low level uh, proof of funds in comparison to other, so, some other programs in Canada. You only need a minimum of one year work experience. However, if you have more than one year work experience, it is an advantage. And the one year work experience if you work for more than one employer, you will still be able to take advantage of this program. And, the good, and one of the best part of it is that it's a minimum of secondary school qualification that is what is needed in this program. If you are coming across my video for the first time, my name is Francis. I do videos on migration through the different routes, such as student, uh, skilled worker or unskilled worker. If you are looking to migrate, I would say to you that if you ask any immigrant who have made a success of migration, they will tell you that credible and uh, uh, sound information are the cornerstone of any successful immigrant story. And as a result, it is in your best interest to make sure that you have access to credible information and you will be the first to uh, find that when information that will benefit you or your loved ones is released, that you have access to that information rapidly so that you can use it to improve your outcome. And as a result, it is in your best interest for you to subscribe to a channel like this to make sure that when we release information, you have access to it and you take advantage of it. We release information, we release videos three times, a minimum of three times every week uh, through the different migrations routes. So you want to make sure that you stay informed when we release uh, our immigration videos. So let's go down to this program that I'm about to tell you. The program in question is the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. This program was introduced by, uh, by uh, uh, the Canadian government in 2019, as I said before, if you ask most immigrants, they will tell you that they want to live in the big cities. The reason for that is that that is where we have family connection. They want to live in London, they want to live in New York, they want to live in Paris, they want to live in Toronto, they want to live in Quebec, because this is where you have family or friends connection. That is why most immigrants want to live in the big cities. And as a result, because most immigrants are attracted to the big, the big cities for the reasons I, I stated before, the rural part of the Western world tend to struggle when it comes to accessing labor. There is severe labor shortage in the rural area because most people do not want to live in those areas. So the only reason you want to live in those, you will want to live in those areas is because of the job opportunity and the opportunity for you to come and live in Canada. So this program that I'm about to share with you was introduced specifically to try to address the problem of labor shortage in the rural part of Canada. So 11 communities are taking part in this program, communities stretching from New Brunswick, Alberta, British Columbia, uh, uh, they are all taking part in this, in this program. How it works is that 
stage one, you will, you will find a job, an employer who is part of this scheme. That is the first part. The second part is that you will have your language proficiency test. That is stage two. Stage three is that the education, your, your educational requirement, you've got minimum of a, a secondary qualification in your home country, and you have a, a minimum of one year work experience. Uh, uh, you have that, that is part three. Once you met uh, stage one, which is you find a job, stage two, you have language proficiency. Stage three is that you met, you met the uh, educational work qualification. Stage four is that you have the proof of form. Once you have met those four criteria, then the next one will be for you to receive a letter of endorsement from the community where you are coming to work. That letter of endorsement is the final thing you need that would enable you to apply for your Canadian permanent resident. It's very, very straightforward, okay? So when you apply for Canadian permanent resident, one of the good news about this program is that it's got shorter period, shorter time frame for applying for Canadian resident between 12 to 18 months. This is the gist of it. I want you to pay attention to what I'm gonna say. So assuming you've met all the criteria and you have applied to a Canadian permanent resident, realistically, most employers, they are not going to wait for you for eight, for 12 to 18 months for you to keep the job for you. So in that case, you will then have the option of applying for expedential work permit, which allows you to come to Canada as a foreign worker. You will come to Canada as a foreign worker, you will take up the job after one year, of living and working in Canada as a foreign worker, you will be able to apply for your Canadian permanent resident. Now, I need to stress this. I've explained the reason why this program was introduced, which is to try fill job vacancies in the rural area. So you must stay in the rural area where you have been offered this job for two years. Once you get your Canadian resident, it's up to you what you want to do. That is very, very important. So I want to quickly explain what I have just, what I've explained, summarize what I've just said. Before I do that, I need, I need to add, in addition to what I said before, if assuming you and your partner or your wife are applying on this program and the two of you have applied, you will get additional points as a couple for applying together. In some of the communities, you get 10 points for you to apply. So if having a job in some of the communities you get 55 points. Educational qualification will give you additional points. With you applying with your spouse, give you another point. Depending on the age, you get points. So that is how you get points. You need, you need a minimum of 17 points in some of the communities for you to apply. So it's very straightforward. So I will, I, I will show you the job site where you can apply for jobs. There are lots of jobs on this scheme. If you like what you've heard so far, Give this video a thumbs up so that, so that YouTube or Facebook will share it to other people. And also subscribe to this channel, as I've said before. Launch Club, our mission is to give our people the information for them to be able to legally migrate without having to pay any agent a dime. That is our mission. So you need to make sure that you're supporting what we're doing because we're here making sure that our people do not have to pay thousands of money to agents when they can do this themselves with the right information. So let me just quickly summarize what I said. So the name of the program is the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. You need a minimum of one year work experience. You need a minimum of uh, secondary education, a minimum of level four in either French or English, and it's got low proof of form when you compare this to other uh, immigration program in Canada. So the four stages that you must pass in order for you to be able to take advantage of this is one, have a job, two, have proof of form. Then the third one that you must also pass is the language test, which I've just talked about level four. And the fourth one is the education and work experience. 
it's a minimum of secondary school or one year experience. Once you have this, you get your letter of endorsement, you're good to go. So I'm going to quickly show you now the site where you can find job, and I'll show you again from the Canadian Immigration website. When I release video, I always try to empower the people that watch my video by taking them to the website, the official Canadian government website, so that you can see that the information I'm giving you is from credible and tested source. Is it from the Canadian government website? And in addition to that, I would leave a link to the Canadian government website in the description section of this video so you can have a look. So let me quickly show you now. So this is the program we've been talking about, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. So you can type it in Google search, it'll come up like this. Just click the first one. So this is the page that will tell you everything you need to know about this program. As I said at the beginning, there are 11 communities taking part in the program all the way from Ontario, quite a few uh, places, uh, communities in Ontario, they are taking part in this. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how, how you can look for a job. I'm just going to pick randomly. I'm going to pick two, two communities, okay? So the first one, let's try this one. So again, it'll come, this one will come, it'll come up like this. I'm going to leave a description on the page so you can see. So you've got two options here. Okay, this community is a community of 73,000 people. Okay, we're talking about salt strain. Okay, so it's just saying here, welcoming you to their page. So because we are applicant, we will click on this one for applicant. Let's see what comes up. So it's, as you can see, say any new applicant coming from August 25 will be reviewed. Okay, so this is it. Here, I'm going to be very quick. It just says we are accepting applicants from food sector as from July. So there is still this, this still accepting applicants for, from food sectors and the other sectors. So I'm going to show you, like I said, if I'm going to leave this eligibility criteria here. So this is how you find a job. Pay attention to this, okay? Not This is just in this community, some different communities, the, the way you find jobs may be different. So in this community that we're looking at now, the Salt, Salt Marais, you will go on the job posting here. You click on that place, okay, where it says job posting. You click on that place. It will come up with the job page which says career, okay? You can see they have different types of jobs. As I said before, this community is only a community of 75,000 people, okay? So they got different types of job. So assuming we are looking for a job in the health sector, you click, you type that, you tick on that, then you click on apply. That way, you're not going to, you're not going to bring all sorts of job that you, is, that is not in your field of specialization. So here, these are the jobs that in the health sector that they have. These jobs were, these are jobs that were posted as early as last week. Okay, so here they have business analyst intelligent, registered technologies, uh, uh, laboratory, full-time job. Mind you, you need a 30 hours job, which is full-time job to apply for this program. So they've got physiotherapy, occupational therapies, nurse. So for anyone, who, if you know anyone who is a nurse or anyone who is a physiotherapist, please send this page to them and tell them to, to, to apply. Uh, 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 the different types of jobs are here, okay? So these jobs, these are jobs that were recently posted. The, I cannot stress this enough. The easiest way to migrate to Canada is to migrate, look at the areas where a lot of people are not attracted to. Those are the areas that you will easily find jobs. Those are the areas that you will quickly get permanent resident if you go to Canada. So... This one, these are the jobs here. These are the jobs in the health sector, okay? I'm going to quickly look at manufacturing. I'm, going to, I'm trying to make this video to be very short, so I'm just going to quickly whiz through, okay? So you see now, this is this one. So I'm going to quickly go back again. 
So let's go back again and tick on, let's untick this. So assuming you are an electrician, for instance, you tick on this one, you click on this, apply, it comes up again. Okay, so it's just, the page is just loading now. Okay, so for electrician, these are the kind of jobs that you, these are, this is how you apply for job as an electrician. Okay, so you come down for anybody in the electrical field, this is how you will apply for job. Okay, so you go back like this, you come 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 back like this. Okay, you come back like this, you come back like this. Okay. Okay. So for anyone, if you're looking for a job in the electrician sector, this is how you apply for a job. The last one I just want to quickly show you is manufacturing. Okay. Again, if you're looking for a job in the manufacturing, you tick that place where it says manufacturing. Once you've ticked that place, then you click on apply. So all the jobs in the manufacturing sectors will pop up. Okay. So they will come up like that. So it's just take the internet is just loading the page up. So in a minute, it will open up so you can see. So this is how you look at job in, in this sector. So basically, that's how you look for job in this sector, okay? So we can go down, but I'm not, I'm not going to go through that. So I'm going to quickly whiz through again. So we go back again now. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you back out of this career because we're no longer looking for job. I want to show you something very important, okay? So this is where you will submit your form. But before you submit your form, I want to show you something here. So, as you can see here, okay, let me quickly show you something I think you should be aware of. Okay, let's see. Okay, community requirement. So this is the requirement that this community wants you to have before, before you will apply, okay? Number one, this very community, mind you, this is Salt St. Marie community. For you to apply on this program to come to this community, look at what it says here, okay? It says, at the moment, applicants will need to achieve a total of 70 score. For you to come to this community, you need a total of 70 score. You get 55 points by having a job. So you, once you land your job, you get 55 points, you need 15 more points, okay? So again, that is, you get 50, 55 points for having a job, okay? Then let's go down to the bottom. Step two, so you get, if you are between the age of 18 to 36, you get six points. If you're between the age of 37 to 47, you get three points. If you're between the age of, 48 over you get two points okay so so even if you're over 48 you still can't apply so in you get two points for that so let's go to the third one applicant has work if you get if you have one year work experience you get two points you have three years work experience you have four points you have more than four years work experience you have six points your five years work experience you have eight points you have six years plus experience, you have 10 points for that, okay? That is it. Applicant has at least one year. That's what you need, okay? Again, you will get, if you, if you studied in the area, you get another point. If you and your spouse, assuming you and your wife are applying together in this program, you will get another 10 points if you and your wife decide to apply together, okay? So that is what you will get in this place. So the more qualification you have, the more experience you have, you get more points, you know, you get more points because they are trying to attract people that will be able to adjust when they move down to this community, okay? So that is how you get all the points. So once you have all the points, you have got your job, I'm gonna show you how you apply. And this is very, very straightforward. This is very, very straightforward. Okay, so let's leave this page now again. So once you have done everything, this is where you will submit your application. You click on that place, you fill in your name. You see, as you can see, you see, submit your application. So you fill in your name, 
your first name, last name, your email, telephone number, date of birth, country of citizenship, country of birth. You put in everything. Then you click on th this one. You, when you click on next, you know, because we're not, I'm not going to go beyond this place because we're not feeling this. This is how you submit it. So everything is straightforward. You do everything yourself. You find your job. You look at all the points you've got. You will submit your application here, okay? So let me quickly show you another county because I'm, you can go through. I will leave this, this very link on the description so you can have a look, okay? So let's go to another community here, okay? So we're going to go to this community and let's see what we've got. So this community now, okay? So this one, all you do is you click on job. So you click on that. Once you click on this, this one is very straightforward. You just click on job. You click on there. It brings you all the job. So let's say you're looking for a full-time job. You click on, in this community, they have full-time job just under uh, 18,000 full-time jobs. So you click on full-time job. So all you do is you click on full-time jobs here. It comes up with that. Okay, so assuming you're looking for this, you're looking for a technician, it comes here immediate. This one, they want you to start as soon as possible. This is how you apply for the job. So I'm not going to go beyond this place. So basically, this is very, very straightforward. I want to go back. So you click on the full-time job. Mind you, you only need 30 hours job to apply for this program. So that's the job. So I'm going to go back again, just in case if you, if you, in case you missed it. So you just click on it like that. It's very, very straightforward with this one. So I hope you have, you understood what I've explained, how you can find a job in this community. So this one, I'm going to quickly go back again. So you click on this one, you click on uh, uh, Brandon MB, you click on that. Then once you click, there is where you click on the top where it says jobs, you click on that. Then you click on E Brandon job, you click on that. That will take you straight to the job page. These are all the jobs that you take on the one you want. I hope you have found this video very useful. This is a very good program that I will encourage you to take advantage of. You need one year work experience, a minimum of secondary qualification. You need your job. It's got low proof of fund and it's got low language proficiency test. I will be releasing another video. If you want to go to Canada, I cannot stress this. Make sure you have created your express entry profile. Your CV is what will sell you. Nobody is going to consider you if you're not selling yourself in your CV. I can offer one-to-one -one consultation where I will be able to look at your CV, but I'm fully booked. So if you want me to have a look at your CV, you, are, you will be patient with me because I'm fully booked. I'm fully booked up to the next 10 days. So that is a service that I offered I, 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 specifically to those who want me to have that set to look at their CV. I will be releasing another video in the next 48 hours on the key province to look at when you're looking to migrate to Canada, the province where it is easier to get your, your, your permanent resident. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Uh, continue to share the good news about Launch Club. We want to help as many people as possible to legally migrate without having to spend money. I believe in yourself, you can do it. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.